When I was at the Royal College, which was then in the 60s, in fact, I was there, I started there in 1960, and I'd already come from another art college. I was very aware that I was a new designer, creating new and wanting to create new. I was then, at that very first time, absorbing what was going on in pop art with David Hockney or Peter, Peter Phillips, you know, the, the, the English artists and also Lichtenstein and Andy Warhol. So I was influenced by those designs as far as my textiles were concerned. And my cons when I tried to sell my textiles, people would say they're far too extreme and we can't use them. So I, in fact, then ended up going to friends who were sympathetic to show me how to make dresses because my designs were considered not commercial enough. So I've always tried to design on the cutting edge. And, of course, then when you get to your being 70-odd, you don't feel cutting edge anymore and you show things and people think they were done today and they were in fact done 40 years ago. I think it's a very spontaneous process and it's not that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking and that I'm, I'm trying to, to get things together or to create things which are um, should be shocking or different or special. No, it's a very spontaneous process. And, um, and it's all happening during the period that I'm making the collections. And it's also the, the uh, fact that I, I try to push myself forward. And then you sometimes also are breaking certain rules and you try to, to get in uh, new ideas or br uh, get new associations or, or yeah, make new combinations. And that is how I work all the time, in fact. And, uh, and also for me, sometimes it's like a question mark. Is it the right combination? Is it the right direction I'm going? But it's, it's, uh, it's more a spontaneous process than a kind of um, yeah, a process which is happening in my head. It's really happening in my body. It's happening when working with colors, working with fabrics. And, and, and that, yeah, that's how it is evolving all the time.